Shalom, child of God. This is Life is on OS TV. My name is Brother Day. Today, a word is coming to you to let you have victory over every temptation that the enemy will bring your way. You'll be equipped at the end of the day to know how to have victory during temptations. Let us share a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this blessed day that you have ordained for our growth. Thank you. Grant us grace to teach and grace to also learn. In Jesus' name, amen. How to have victory over the, the temptations of the devil. We'll look at the temptation of Jesus Christ. How the devil tempted him. And today, by this knowledge, you also know who you are. The kind of power that you have. Still drawing inspirations from the parable of the new cloth and the old cloth. From the principle where Jesus told the disciples of John that we are different from you. So even in temptations, we are different from other people who go through the same temptations. So from this parable, the Bible says that Jesus was tempted by the enemy. When Satan came to him and with the first temptation, he said that, If you are the son of God, command that these stones become bread. From the second, the Bible said that he told him that cast yourself down because it is written that he shall command his angels concerning your lives and they shall bear you in their arms lest you dash a feet against a stone. The third one. He said that the, all the kingdoms of the world belong to me and if you will fall down and worship me, I will give them to you. In all these three temptations, we get one understanding that without the contribution of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the enemy will never be successful. So the enemy had his package of temptations coming to him, coming to entice him. But he needed the contribution. He needed the participation of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Jesus, these are stones. I want to tempt you with bread. And I want to plead with you that use the power that you have, the energy that you have as a Son of God, to turn these stones to bread so that I can use this same bread against you. So the devil is not as powerful as we think or we have made him to be. In every temptation, he still needs our contribution. We are the ones that will determine whether he will fail or he will succeed as he, at any trial or temptation that he brings our way. It is not enough to say that he is devil because he is he, he, bigger or should I say that he is successful because he brings the enticement but he needs the contribution of you and i so if we say that we are devil we are starving you of our participation we are not going to use our power to help you in your temptation what happens is that he fails let's bring this down from jesus's case to our case Somebody is going through a time where the person said that the person is living a promiscuous life, sexual immorality. But the thing is that, bro, you are the one who will pick your phone, your own phone, who will text that lady with your own mind. You are the one that will uh, construct sentences to convince the lady to come to your house. You are going to use your house. If it's going to be outside your house, you are going to use your money to pay for the room. Know that even the devil bringing you enticement that go and fornicate, you still needed to contribute. Your money was involved. Your mind was involved. Your time was involved. Your phone was involved. Everything that was left was that you are the one that participated. You are the one that sponsored the success of that temptation. So if you have this mindset or this knowledge, you know that if I have control over myself, then there shall be no success for the devil. You are very powerful, child of God. You are very powerful. For the people that are not in Christ, the devil has power over them to throw them back and forth, 
But for us, we have power to decide. We have power to determine whether we want to invest in what the devil is bringing our way or we want to say that we are starving you them no matter what you do. So learn this principle. The second principle I would like to teach us to overcome temptation is that we have to learn how to offset seasons. Offsetting seasons. What do I mean by this? By the day, the devil, by the grace of God, when Jesus overcame all the three temptations, the Bible said that and he left him for a season. The devil works in seasons. And when you come to seasons, child of God, there are elements or activities that come together to give a right season for a right action or for an action to be undertaken. Therefore, the devil is not always tempting people. If the devil is always tempting, he tells you that your season is always right for him to tempt you. He does not tempt every time. That is why he will always wait. When you are a guy and there is a lady in front of you passing, that is when he brings that challenge. This shoddy she debut. No, why, why say no go? Why? Because the lady now becomes a right season for him to bring that thought. Else he will shut up. Know how to offset seasons. That is why when people are going through times of masturbation, one of the things that they are told to do is that don't stay in a room alone by yourself. Because masturbation is prevalent when you are alone. You cannot tell me that you have 100 people around you every day. This one is telling, asking you this, always relating with them, and you masturbate. Because they know that staying alone is what promotes masturbation but living with people offsets the season of masturbation learn it you might have your own sin or your own weakness but child of god learn how to offset seasons the devil is not that powerful learn how to offset seasons learn how to destroy seasons and you will always be victorious in doing that also know how to set up your own seasons there are people as we said, when there are ladies, there are people that when they present themselves in your life, it is an opportunity or the right season for the devil to act. Likewise, there are people that when they are present in your life, it is a no to the devil to act. The devil knows that as far as these people are in your life, he can do nothing to you. No such people. Know the people that give the enemy the opportunity to act and know the people that also stays the hand of the enemy. Offset it. He's not that powerful. Learn this and I pray that the Lord will grant you insight even as you ponder over this word today. God bless you and may the Lord grant you access into deeper truth. My name is Brother Day. This has been Life Seeds on OS TV. I always bring you Jesus' works and his words. I bring you life. Shalom.